A few kilometres to the south are Stevenson's Falls, near the tourist town of Marysville. Stevenson's Falls are the highest in Victoria. The total drop is 82 metres. The falls are named after John Stevenson, who visited the site of what is now Marysville in 1862. There is a small hydroelectric generator at the base of the falls. It is not connected to the state electricity grid. It is used to light the paths at night. and to floodlight the falls. The turbine is a Michelle Crossflow turbine. It was invented by Australian inventor Michelle in 1903. It was manufactured by the Osberger Company of Germany. The turbine has a total head of 18 metres and a flow of 127 litres a second and is rated at 22 horsepower. It's driving a 13 kilowatt generator which is used to power the lights. The lights are turned on at dusk by a light sensitive switch. We can make our own estimate of the generator output power is flow times the head times g, the gravitational constant. The flow is 127 litres a second, the head is 18 metres and g is 9.8. So the power is 127 times 18 times 9.8 watts, which is 22,400 watts or 22.4 kilowatts. This is the maximum amount of power which could be extracted from the water. The actual power we're getting from the generator is 13 kilowatts. The difference is the efficiency of the system. We can calculate the efficiency of the system. The efficiency of the system is 13 divided by 22.4 which equals 58%. Mount St Guinea is part of Borbor National Park, two hours east of Melbourne. It's a popular cross-country ski destination. There is a car park with a convenience block. There is no mains power available. There's a small hydroelectric generator underneath the convenience block, which we'll go and have a look at.
you can see here the inlet pipe, the turbine, and on top of that the generator. The inlet pipeline is 50 millimetre polythene pipe. And this is the outlet. The power is used by the sewage digesters, which have a number of small electric fans. The pressure gauge indicates that there's 30 metres head at the turbine and the flow appears to be about 2 litres a second. From this we can estimate the output of the generator. The power is the flow rate times the gravitational constant times the head. We know these the flow rate is 2 litres a second and the head is 30 metres. So the power is 2 litres a second times 9.8 times 30 metres which comes out to 588 watts. This is the maximum power available from the water the actual output will be less than this, possibly 400 watts.